Lily Twister Sister and today I've got another free balloon animal tutorial just for you. In this video we're going to be learning how to make this cool bird. Ah! So this is one I came up with at a recent party. A little girl wanted a hawk or a falcon, not sure which. Um, and so this is what I came up with and I thought it was pretty easy and simple enough to do a YouTube tutorial on. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. This design, I'm gonna be doing purple. We're gonna use two purples, 260s, a white 260, a yellow 260, and a black 260 for the eyes or you can use a round for the eyes if you want. So I'm going to start off with one purple and one white, leaving about a three inch tail and blow up your white balloon also. And you can go ahead and tie these together right from the start. All right, now we're going to start off with the head. So we're going to bring both balloons together and we're going to do about a three inch bubble, twist them together. And then you're going to do another bubble the same size, so measure twist another bubble right there beside it. And then you're gonna use these tails from our nozzle to wrap around that twist. You want it to be really tight. So wrap them nice and tight. And then to secure that, you're gonna stick them up into our four bubble cluster there. Okay, so now that won't come undone. Now at this point, before you move on, you wanna make some wings. Left about a one inch tail, give it a nice burp and tie it together in a big circle. Now you're gonna find the midpoint, bring your hands together and twist for the wings. And I like to do one more twist in each wing about not right in the middle, so you get one curved bubble and one straight bubble. So a little bit less than halfway. So, whew, it's been difficult. There you go, just make a twist. So now you have a nice wing shape. And we're gonna put that sandwich it right in between our purple and white balloons, like this, okay? And we're gonna twist our purple and white balloons together. You're gonna come back up and down with the purple balloon. So squeeze it nice and soft, twist it into the head, and then back down around on the other side, twist it into the white. Okay, we're gonna do, I like to do two pinch twists here. We're gonna do a white one on the white side on the bottom and a purple one on the purple side. So just a small pinch twist. This will help hold the tail straight. So one purple pinch twist and one white pinch twist. And then we're done with the white and you can get rid of it. And I'm just gonna tuck it up into the body to keep it from coming undone. And now for the tail, we're just gonna make a triangle. So I'm gonna do one, about a four or five inch bubble, come over and go back up into our pinch twist with another bubble the same size as the first. Like that. And then this little bit here, you can get rid of. We're done with that. and just arrange it so it's all nice and flat and aerodynamic looking. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna add the eyes. And I like to add the eyes before I add the beak because it can get a little crowded if you do the beak first. So for the eyes, if you're using a 260, you're just gonna put one puff of air in here, enough for two small bubbles. And I'm gonna twist that in half. So we have two bubbles of the same size, and then I'm gonna tie the ends together. A nice double knot here. And we're gonna cut off the extra tails. So we just have two bubbles. And I'm gonna tuck this into the head. I'm gonna go in between the white and purple balloons so that the black balloons are just kind of peeking out on either side of the head. All right, so that is what you should have something like that. I can also see like a whale without the wings in this design. Now if you notice, his head is upside down. So without the beak, the head is going to tend to flip around and we don't want that, right? So we're gonna stabilize everything with the beak. So grab your yellow 260, just put a little bit of air in here. Now you want the tail to be long. So I'm gonna let some air out so I get a nice long tail here to work with. 
I'm gonna tie that off. Now for the beak, I'm gonna squeeze my balloon out, and I'm gonna do one three to four inch bubble, and one bubble about half that size. And we're gonna twist these together using the knot of our nozzle, thread it through so it's secured. And we're gonna get rid of the rest of our balloon, and we're gonna tie these two tails together in a nice strong knot. Okay, now to attach the beak to the face. You're gonna line up your balloon, your head and your body, the way it's supposed to be. And we're gonna hold, I'm gonna put my finger in his beak and I'm gonna place it right on the face, right where I want it. I'm gonna take one, one of these tails off of one side, this one's going on the other side, okay? We're gonna bring this directly back, kinda of over the eyeball. We're gonna tuck it in to his body. You're gonna go underneath that white balloon right here. And it's gonna come all the way around the other side of the head, twist around the beak, and I'm gonna tuck it into the white bubbles here. Now that should be enough to secure it. If you wanna make extra sure it's secure, you can do the same thing going around the other side with this tail, but that should be enough. So I'm just gonna get rid of this tail. And then you can hide your uninflated yellow bits into the head. So wrapping it back behind the neck here in between um, this white balloon and these purple balloons will really keep the head from twisting around. It's gonna be nice and stable now. And someone just woke up from her nap. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, you guys, that's it for uh, this week's free balloon animal tutorial. If you're looking for more advanced tutorials, check out thetwistersister.com where you can also get this t-shirt with other cool balloon animal bags and leggings and menu items and all kinds of fun stuff. Twistersister.com. All right, I'll see you guys in next week's free balloon animal tutorial. Bye.